Hi, this is Glum3, and I'm playing the final castle of New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Now, a lot of people say this is like an ex like an extremely hard game, and I disagree. I think it's kind of hard. Like, once you get to the end, it gets pretty hard. But it's not insanely hard, I mean. It never gets to the point where you're literally just, you just stop playing. I mean, I got this yesterday, that's when it was released in America. And I beat it in two days with a, with a friend. So, yeah. Not trying to brag or anything, just saying. And, yeah. This final castle is actually kind of short, too. I mean, the, I think the whole final world and final castle, although they were pretty hard, they're also very short. I mean, like, shorter than everything else in the game. Shorter than all the other worlds. Shorter than all the other castles. I don't know why, it's just they did it like that. I mean, it's kind of good, because I don't have to go through a lot in order to beat the game and everything, but it's also kind of disappointing. You know, it would have been cool to have a big epic final castle. Like, it's even shorter than the one from New Super Mario Bros., the original. So, you know, it's kind of disappointing. But still, it's a great game, and you should definitely get it if, I don't know, if you're a fan of the old ones, then you should definitely get it. You'll really love this. And here, the lava's kind of sinking and you don't want to fall into it, so, well, obviously. So you want to jump to the next one as late as possible. Do not do it beforehand. Do not. It will end very, very badly if you just decide to jump on them whenever you want. You have to wait till you get to the very last moment. Then get to the next one. Like, don't wait until you're in the lava, but just wait a little while. Plus, everything will be much easier if you do it like that. And I mean much, much easier. And that dry bone su survived all the way down somehow. Let's go. It's fire Mario time. Okay, here it goes. Now you can use these to hide from them. Hide from the ones really far down. You don't really need to do it, but it's pretty helpful so you don't get hit before the boss. Just wait for them to go by. Slide into the next one, just in time. Now let's go fight Bowser. And Bowser's pissed. Let's go. Run under him, and you beat the game. Well, not quite. Oh my god. He's huge! So basically, yeah, Bowser is very upset right now. And that is when the music that is extremely epic kicks in. I mean, like, really, it's extremely epic. If there were many, any more epic, it would probably, like, break the game. The game would just explode. And then you'd have to get your Wii repaired and it kinda suck. Basically, you can only kill him if he lets you, which means you have to let him destroy these areas in order for you to get anywhere. Like that. You need to be careful. Because things will end badly if you're not careful. Okay, let's go. Then you get onto this awkwardly slow moving platform, and it will bring you to this question mark, and what does it give you? That's right. A propeller shroom. Why is this important? Because without it, this place is really hard. 
Like seriously. I have done it without it, but it was very annoying. And I did not enjoy it. It was not a fun experience. In the slightest. Well, it was kind of a fun experience, but you know what I mean. You need to be really careful over here because that lava on the bottom just keeps coming. Like something else I know of. What? No. So let's go. Okay. Don't want that lava to hit you. This is where I lost my uh, propeller cap the first time I did this. And it made this part a lot harder because I fell down. Like that. Except now I have the propeller cap, so it's not as hard. Bowser's catching up, so very much like this reappeared. And there's the switch to end it all. Wow. Oh. 